allow us to very excitedly introduce the Maverick in both Compact and Sniper to our channel. And these, of course, are both in 30 cal. We're gonna hunt with it and we're gonna show you what it can do. A little bit of technical jargon, but if you really wanna know the ins and outs of this gun, go watch Matt Dubber's video. Nobody does it better than him, and I watched his ahead of release, and it's just amazing. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go there for all the technical ins and outs. If you want to see how this thing performs in the field under hunting conditions, stick with us. The following is a list of companies that we've been using since the very beginning, and now they actually help us provide some of this content for you guys. We'd love it if you would show them some support. Perfect. We go our first outing with yep, this new buddy. toy here this this little baby is sweet dude. we're gonna fill her up we got a brand new farm we actually went to another farm and asked uh, the guy where all his pigeons went and he said well i don't know but my buddy's got a big issue maybe head over there everyone's always asking us you know how do you get all these permissions and stuff stuff like that yeah absolutely so, so here we are, and there's a ton of birds on this farm to be shooting. And uh, we're uh, gonna be testing this new Maverick <laughs> Compact in 30 cal. How sweet is that? Oh, what man. a short little gun. It's awesome. So balanced. Yeah, it is. Well, all right. First, Time. is this the first kill with that? No. No? killed some stuff at home. Oh, okay. One shot 70 and one was 153. Oh, no kidding. Uh, yeah, both single shot kills. Yep. Uh -oh. Yep, I can't. Can't quite get up there, so I'm gonna have to do a little freehand. I get confidence in you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the wind is like coming right up our back, so. Yeah. Uh, this, this will work out just. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. You ready? I'm ready. One down. <laughs> Sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. 30 cal pellet will do that. Oh yeah. You know those... how quiet that is? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, look at them all there, oh, yeah. man. We just gotta go to the right a little bit farther. Yeah, we'll go over there and yep. get on that um, fence close play. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Get some help. That silo. I'm gonna hold left edge for wind. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Dead. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Could that you made see? a nice smack. Yeah, it did. Could you see the pellet? Oh, yeah. Could you? Yeah, straight, straight under the chest. So it did need a little bit of wind? Yeah. Yeah, it was perfect wind hold. Okay. Oh, you know what I need, bud? Magazine. <laughs> Those things are so finicky. I know. <laughs> I just gotta feed them. All right. Which one should I kill? Uh, the one all the way to the right. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead, all right. Yeah. He didn't make it? <laughs> the Mav getting her done. Oh yes, that was uh, that was an authoritative pop. Yeah, it was. It did him in. How far are those ones, huh? These are uh, forty-seven yard. Forty-seven. And which one do you want me to take? I On think. Right. Uh, either, yeah, either that, whatever one is the best skyline. Ah. Uh, 
There's one sitting up really pretty. Okay. Second one in from the left. Yeah, that's what I see. I'm on that one. Oh, there He's he down. Goes. Yep. He's done. <laughs> nice. Just as Norm and I were leaving, these crows landed in the pasture. So no fancy B-roll, just scope cam. And man, did we hammer them with the pellets. Done. Smoked them. Nice shot, buddy. Thank you, you sir. Flinch. Nope. Oh, Oh, nice. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, buddy. Crowing it. That's 70 yards to that one. All right. So we are zeroing the sniper version now. Literally just got it in the mail. Yeah. What are your, you said I was down trying to kill birds with the compact and pellets and the wind is so strong that I was like, you know what? It's hybrid time. Time for old Normie to shine. So major differences obviously the bottle and the barrel and other than that i don't think there is a difference so uh, looking to enjoy some wind cutting capability here we'll show you the uh, target at 50 yards that i sighted it in for with pellets and the hybrids uh to show you how they shoot and the hybrids shoot about three quarters of an inch higher uh than the pellets, but perfect left to right. Got my shadow all over it. Can't really. Oh, there we go. As long as you don't have your hands all over it. Oh, yeah, well, trust me. <laughs> That's my next plan. Yeah, I know. I've been training. You don't know this? Oh, I know exactly what you're training to do because yeah? you said, Norm, well, well I'm going to go shoot a couple birds while you set this all up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally what I said. But what you don't know uh -oh. is I have been watching a lot of UFC on YouTube. So well, I think given that you have purple belt, right? Yeah. I think Four I'm at least... Purple. Four stripe purple. Let's get that straight. Sorry, big sorry. Difference. Sorry. And you were offered a black. Uh, um, so here's the thing, though. I really, I've been watching, like, very intently. Yeah. So I think I could probably roll you now. Um, <laughs> Such a everybody pray for me over the next five minutes. <laughs> Luckily, Normson got a new gun, good mode. Plus, <laughs> I'm getting old. Yeah, well, you and me both, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you got a limp to you too now. Yeah, I wanted to be like you, man. Well, most they say the do. best Wanna best be? form of flattery is imitation. And. uh that's definitely a fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, super stoked. We're going to show you those groups, and uh, then hopefully we can get a few birds down in this wind with the, the hybrids cutting through, because let me tell you guys something. I could not, I just couldn't keep the pellets on target enough to feel good about it, so and I'm putting my gun down. And notice he said that he could not. Right. I haven't been out yet to actually do it. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you the groups. <laughs> Seven. Now it's settling in. 65. Yeah, that's pretty uh, darn good. <laughs> let me I'm just digging a hole up there. And that's got to be 88 yards. And that gun hasn't even been tuned yet. No. So, interesting. Yeah. That's a great place to start, though. What is that? You got a picture of it? Extreme spread of 11 with a standard deviation of 4.8. Um, and after we tune that, whoo, babe. All right, so what do we have here? This one here's got three holes from the hybrid at 50. Okay. And that's where it settled in. These were the ciders after I shot the pellets. So this has got like five holes in this center from pellets. What? Yeah, those 44 green pellets. And this is at 50 yards, this right? This is at 50. Um, this one here is a four shot group at 50 with pellets. Okay. This is after I had, you know, brought it, brought over. it over and everything. Holy crap. So, uh, and like I said, the good thing is, is from here, from the pellets, 
up to the slugs is what? Half inch? Yeah. Three quarter of an inch? Yeah, I got confused because I thought when I went down and got the box, I thought these were your pellets and then these were the hybrids strung out a little, but it was nope. still just an inch. No, or no, no, no. This is a, like I said, there's like five pellets through there. <laughs> oh, there's sweet. four in there. Yeah. I was a little off on this group. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Oh, that's sick. And that's, you know, no matter. Even if it was that, I'd be like, that's hunt ready for slugs, but it's not. That's the hybrids? Yeah, that's three, four, five shots right there. Wow. Sweet. All right, let's put it on a bird. Walking down here. Let's see if those birds landed in this dairy barn like they often do. Kick them up onto the silo for Norm if I can. Hi, baby. Let's see what's what. Well, I guess we figured out. Uh, <laughs> I guess we figured out where all the birds are. And I really don't want to be shooting them in here. So I got to get them out of here. Alright, we got yeah, some targets out of the barn. Give them one MOA. Let's see if we can get one down. Okay. Oh, done. oh, so dead. Done, done. Nice shot, Norm. He's back. Uh, 110 yards. And that is our first kill with the FX hybrids. Norm is, there he is, laying in the grass. Yeah, buddy! So we got a bird. Let's look behind it so we can take the shot. 75 yards away. Go ahead. Smacked! He is He's done. done. He is all done on that route. Well, you didn't go far. Oh, <laughs> you put an insurance on just in case? Yeah. I didn't even know you were going to do that, and then all of a sudden it exploded. <laughs> yeah. He's got a steep angle shot to those pigeons up there. Okay, bud. Smack him. Done. <laughs> That's the next shot. Oh, thank goodness. Try this one offhand. Oh, man. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I think he... Oh, is he? Well, here's one Keith just free-handed. Oh! Little headshot. I thought I hit him in the neck, but... Headshot. Take it either way offhand. Yeah, that man. Angle. Makes sense to hit a little bit high, really. Yeah. I like this one all the way through, like through and through the body. Yeah. Oh, that's the exit. Because I shot him up the rear. Oh, man. That's serious. That's one of the, one of the new uh, 30 cal hybrids. Yeah. Liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, man. Out of the new Maverick 30. Anyway, from the top of that pole, Keith shot that starling at what was it, 55 yards? You said? Uh, How far yeah, was that like one? 55. And uh, he was leaning on the back of the tractor over there. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, the most stable rest? So hopefully the footage looks all right. But got to take these shots of starlings so we can get them. Oh, for sure. Pigeons are in the air again. Yeah, buddy. All right. We are off Norm's shoulder here. Oh, oh smokes! Oh. Done. <laughs> and that never went through 
No, it didn't actually. Sweet. And that one got shot, went around, landed, boom, and I don't know what happened, but there was blood up on his neck. Oh my goodness. That was an impact. Probably 50, Ooh. 60 yards. He's gonna take his head off, hopefully, here with the hey, here we go. 30. Oh, yeah, done, indeed. man. I got him dropping too. Nice yeah. shot, buddy. Thank you. Holy smokes. Now, look over at me, Nor, so that people know what just happened. I couldn't get up high enough, yep. so I unlocked the swivel yep. on the bipod, and then I raised up this. See how much my barrel comes up. Oh yeah. That? You're you think you're maxed out, but you're not. You've always got another option now. It might like vibrate a little because you, now you're putting the hand yeah, yeah, up yeah. front, but it's but a really that's valuable. gotta give you at least what, eight inches to a foot? No, dude, like I can't get above this red roof. The building, I can't get up past the red. Okay. And by doing that, I can go well above the uh the steeple. So it gets feet. Oh wow, oh, that's cool. Here we go. All right, you ready, bud? Uh, yep. <laughs> oh. I think his head popped off. Yeah, oh, there's another one right up top, higher. See him? Yep. Oh, a bunch just landed too, bud. Hey, I'm a little too, uh, zoomed in to focus this. That's pretty good. You ready? Yep. Oh, oh man! Goodness. Did you hear that? Oh. That was insane! Oh my god! Pow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Well, let's go back to what I said a little while ago. Yeah. I One was thing that you can depend on Keith for is you. I just got the sniper version here <laughs> of the Maverick, <laughs> and I said, Keith, why don't you take a shot? That is so not true. <laughs> you're like, oh, the neck hurts from laying back there while you're scared of up on the sideline. You had me playing Steve all day. Who's around Steve? throwing stuff at pigeons in the barn to make him come out. And then uh, he wants to hand me the gun back, but how many rounds are left in the mag? <laughs> None. <laughs> well, what do you think of the new Maverick, bud? This is the Maver Maverick Sniper, 700 I, millimeter. I truly love it. Yeah. As a matter of fact. I, I personally feel like just with one day of it, it's probably on impact level. Mm -hmm. Like, I I mean, we didn't uh, take any crazy long shots here today, guys, because... Oh, the wind was insane. The wind was insane. Oh. Um, anytime we tried, you know, 150 or something, it was like you aim with one and a half, you needed two. You aim with yep. two, you needed one. Yeah. Um, but accuracy-wise... Oh, my God. It's bonkers. Oh. Um, and we just, we got 30 shots off of a fill pushing the 44 grain hybrids 967 967 so um, and that sh goes to show you just so you guys know my 44 grain pellets out of the compact yep it's like a mag and a half so like you know something like 20 shots mm -hmm. um, so you get this extra runway you don't need as much air um, to push them uh, it's set at 150 bar on the final reg 170 on the first that's right I said the first. <laughs> there are two regs in these things, as you probably already know. Um, but it's just uh, really consistent. feels good. And I, I like, personally, I like the uh, the more rubberized feel. It's not as sharp as the impact is in my hand. Yeah. Um, so for carrying around, I like it um, a lot. I like the, the fact that the dope at 50 yards, sighted in with the 44 grain pellets, was dead on, put five pellets in one hole pretty much yeah. and then went right to the hybrids and they shot pretty much the same point of impact except uh it was like half inch three quarters of an i inch think it was high. three quarters of an inch high and uh the bc on these things uh these hybrids at this speed out of this rifle yep. 0.107 um, and it's just spot on tracks really nice through our ballistic uh calculator which not all slugs do so it's nice um that that one just works out um, I don't have too much more to add except for, you know, 
I, I, I'll be honest, when they told us about this gun, I was like, so wait, you're mixing like kind of the Wildcat and the Dreamline and the Impact. Why? You yep. know, um, I love what they did though, because the fill port out That's here, nice. everybody knows how the Impacts, you know, it's, it's in here, it's hard to get to. I love having the Dreamline style, you know, port here. Yep. Obviously having two regs is awesome because the first reg soaks up all that like heavy bottle pressure, takes it down to the second reg. Your final reg is barely doing any work at all. And this um, one, you don't need the probe like you do in the Wildcat. Right, you don't need the probe, so they, they fix that too. Um, it does not have, you know, the 25 or whatever round magazine that the Impact does. And I would say that's probably the number one thing that would separate this from that. And then yep. also the, the safety is right. like the Wildcat on the rear versus the Impact, which is up here. Correct. Some people feel a certain way about that. Um, I don't... The high capacity impact mag is nice uh, for competitions, but for hunting, I, I really don't oh, care yeah, about that matter. at all. Um, yeah. Because you just reload the mag or have a speed loader. Yep. Um, and you're ready to rock again. Um, what else should we say, man? I mean, this is only our, literally what, our oh first my God. five well, we hours? Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we just, we got it late this <laughs> afternoon. Yeah, so I mean, these are just initial impressions, but. I can't wait to really put it through its paces. I know. 200, like, 250. Yeah. And we didn't have time to tune this gun. So no. this was, right. as yeah, yeah, as it came out of the box, we're yep. like, okay, cool, shooting 967. Yeah. And um, they, we were told that, you know, the first regulator would be approximately 20, um, 20 bar over the final. Right. So that's why it said we're at 150 here, should be 170 up top. Um, but we can play with that a little bit and oh, see yeah. if we can get that extreme spread to tighten up. But I mean... I think it was what 11 yeah extreme spread we didn't shoot a lot of shots because we wanted to get to That's hunting that was thing. over seven shots yeah. but with a standard deviation of 4.8 with unsorted ammo yeah man i mean i'm sure if we sorted it it would go under 10 like that well when and we then, put even one hour into this into it right it's yeah. gonna be amazing yeah i mean it's amazing out of the box i, I still can't believe how we're shooting yeah so don't worry we will show you guys how we tune it because we're gonna tune it um, but I mean, we're just slaying with yeah, this man. as is out of the box. So it's one of those guns. If you want to pick it up and shoot it, you can, if you want to go crazy, like we do, we'll show you how soon. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't think I got anything else until we get a little more time on it, but I'm, I'm pleased it exceeded my expectations. And this is why it exceeds. Uh, I thought that they were going to price it like the impact. Yeah, me too. I couldn't believe when I heard the price. Yeah. Of that so thing. way under. Uh, 1600 for the compact, 1700 for the sniper. So, to me, now I'm like, okay, you can get impact performance for $500 less. Yeah. Um, the only thing that it doesn't have that the impact has is that big mag, but now you yep. got a full fill port out here. Yep. A lot of cool stuff, plus oh, two yeah. regs. I mean, uh, got a lot of things to choose from. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I was kind of dubious. Yeah. Uh, I'm not now. Well, so. what do you think of those, uh, the new 30 cal hybrid slugs? That was insane. <laughs> they tracked so good out of this liner. They got the liner down. They got that figured out. Because oh, I am liking the way that the those high, hybrids yeah, those fly. Hybrids. And they're um, popping pretty good. They pop pretty good. That one sparrow oh, disintegrated. Thing, like a grenade was in it. Um, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> so anyway, we'll further our thoughts. Again, this is just our first five hours. But thanks for sticking with us. And yeah. of course, you know there's going to be slow-mo. Yeah, it's got to be slow mo. Yeah, it's got to be slow mo. So. That's what we do. <laughs> we out. We out.
Done. Done, done. <laughs>